Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and in this video we will discuss about affinity in a Kubernetes. In the previous video, we see tent and tolerance and node selector. Both are used to schedule your pod on a specific node. Affinity is a similar concept but it provides a more flexibility while scheduling your pod. So let's discuss what is affinity. So affinity in a Kubernetes features that allow you to schedule your pod on a specific node in your cluster based on the various criteria such as node label, pod label and pod anti-affinity. There are three types of affinity. The first is node affinity, second is pod affinity and third is pod anti-affinity. So let's discuss first pod node affinity. Node affinity allow you to schedule your pod on a specific node based on the label. In the example here the labels are capacity equal to high C memory and capacity equal to high CPU. You can use a node affinity to schedule your pod on a node with a specific requirement. So let's take an example. You are deploying a multiple replica of your pod and you want each pod deployed on a different node for the redundancy purpose. At that time you can use this node affinity and pod affinity. The second Vice versa, let's take an example, you have a multiple replica of your pods and you want all the pods are deployed on a specific node. At that time, you can use this affinity feature. Now let's discuss a pod affinity. So pod affinity allow you, you to schedule your pods on the node that already running other node that meet a specific criteria. Okay, it means all the pods all the, all the replica of the, your pods are deployed on a same node. And the pod uh, anti-affinity is the opposite of pod affinity. Means it makes sure that the same uh, pods or the replica of the pods are uh, deployed on a different node. There are two types of pod and node affinity. Required during schedule, ignore during execution, and prefer during schedule, ignore during execution. This both term we will discuss in the demo section. So let's jump to the demo where I will you will get a clear idea about this affinity. Uh, I have created this AKS demo cluster in my Azure account. Here I have a two node. The first node is the agent node, and the second is node two. So in the and in the node two. I have given a label capacity equal to high memory. So now let's deploy your pod using the affinity. So here I already create the YAML file regarding this affinity and here I use a nginx image and I add this affinity. So the first one is pod anti affinity and the node affinity. So for the simplicity let's first focus on a pod affinity. So here, let me copy this YAML file, go to the lens and here I am going to create the nginx using the pod anti-affinity. So let me select the replica count is 1. So see here first. So uh, in the affinity section, so first you have to define the uh, affinity so here I go with the pod anti affinity so there are three types of affinities node affinity pod affinity pod anti affinity so first I will go with the pod anti affinity so I will here show you uh, how it is useful the second one is required during schedule ignore during the execution so it means that whatever the criteria I have defined here if it match then and then pod is going to be scheduled otherwise pod won't schedule so here the my criteria is app key is equal to app, operator is equal to in, here you can use operator in, not in and the value is nginx. So here you can see during the uh, deployment in my deployment definition, my, I have provided the label, labels app equal to nginx. Okay, so let's create it. Yeah, now my deployment is success, let's go to the pod and here you can see my pod is deployed on a node 2. So remember this, it's a very important, my pod is deployed on the node 2. And I have created one replica. Now I am going to increase my replica count. Now here you can see. Now my the, my the second node 
is created on a agent node agent pool node and how it's possible because this pod anti affinity make sure that the both pods are deployed on a different node so if i i will increase one more count i will increase one more replica here you can see my pod is going to be in the pending state why because i do not have a multiple nodes i i have only two nodes and i have already created two replicas and this pod anti affinity is make sure that each and every pods are deployed on a different node so here you can see the error zero out of two nodes are available two nodes didn't match the pod anti affinity rules okay now let's take an example so this is all about the pod anti affinity so it make sure that all the replica of your pods are running on a different node now here i will change the definition of the deployment file and instead of pod anti affinity i will go with the pod affinity now this pod affinity with immediately terminates all the node and let's see now what happen okay so still it's not applied let quickly check okay so it's in processing let's wait or maybe let me quickly restart it let's wait okay so let me delete let me delete this okay now let's wait now what is the error still it's showing the pod anti affinity rules let me check again so pod affinity i have applied okay do one thing let me go with the replica count one first let's terminate all the pods okay great now let me increase my replica count now here you can see the pod affinity will make sure that all the replica of your pod running in a same node so now you understand out now based on the requirement you can go with either pod affinity or pod anti affinity now let's go to the next point it's regarding the node affinity so here the node affinity is a similar like pod affinity but here you can define your node so here let me paste it so here i am using the same required during scheduling ignore during the execution it means that if this specific criteria is match then and then my pod is going to be scheduled and here my criteria is capacity my key is capacity operator is in and value is high memory okay so let me select the replica count 1 so i will show you okay and it's a node affinity so let me create it now here you see i have a two node and my node 2 have a label capacity equal to high memory so let's quickly see here you can see my node is deployed on a node 2 because i have defined the node affinity now here you can see uh, what i applied i applied a pod affinity correct pod affinity not anti affinity and node affinity so now i am going to increase my replica count and it will create on a node 2 okay now i want my pod is deployed on a agent pool let's take example so what you have to do go to the deployment and instead of in you can use not in and here you can see okay so what is the error one node didn't match the pod node affinity or a selector one node did not match the pod affinity rules okay so here yeah, there is minor change so what you so i have defined the same 
no definitely capacity not in again replicate it so here you can see now my pod is deployed on an agent pool why because here i have given a condition in a node affinity the capacity not in high memory so if i go here let's say i want in a node to so if i click on save button it will give a error okay why because the pod is already in a agent pool so it will not match the affinity criteria so what here i have to do i have to delete first okay okay so for that let's first scale down your pod to zero and after that you can scale it now here you can see my pod is deployed now in node 2 to match the affinity criteria so this is all about the affinity in Kubernetes. If you have any doubt, please use the comment box as well as please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. See you in the next video.